Well, now that we have our uh, graph paper laid out the correct length, the next thing we need is a ruler. Now, like I said before, my constraint is for the length is 50 centimeters. So I'm going to just find a line that I want to follow. Make a starting point. So let's say I want to start right here. I'm going to follow the same line all the way through. I don't want to cross it down because then what's the point of using the graph paper if I'm not following the lines? Just kind of makes sense. Oh, I know. So then I mark my next point over here at 50 centimeters. Now, that's just my minimum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about two centimeters on each side. Because that's just what I've decided beforehand to do. So then total, it'll be 54 centimeters. And then I'm going to draw a straight line, as straight as possible, to my two dots. So that is my beginning part of my bridge. That's the bottom. So this is where the span starts and this is where my bridge ends. So the next thing I can do is decide how tall my bridge is going to be. Now another constraint or criteria, I suppose it goes for both, is that it needs to be four centimeters high, minimum. Now this makes sense because if I wanted to have a car or something drive underneath, that's a typical thing you need to worry about when building a bridge. So let's just make it four centimeters exactly. So I'll put a dot here and let's put another dot over here at four centimeters. Now I can take my large one and just connect the dots. Okay, now I have my top and my bottom. The next thing I can do is decide which angle or at what points I want to connect the top and the bottom. Now I want these angles to be kind of the same, otherwise they uh, wouldn't be symmetrical and I want it to be as symmetrical as possible because that adds to strength. So let's say I'll use the boxes on the bottom because they seem to match up pretty well. So let's say I count one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. Let's just say six boxes. Let's go there, and then I go to the one that matches up with that right here. So I'm going to go six boxes over on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes on this one. So then I can connect the end points to that dot. And there we go. So I have my basic structure. Now on the inside, this is a side view, so let's go ahead and put side view. And below, I could even put that this is 54 centimeters from here to here, from end point to end point. Uh, I could have used a straight edge for that. That probably would have been neater. I could have done that. Uh, and then the top part, I could actually measure that out as well to give me an idea of how long this top part is. So it's a, actually exactly 58 or 48 centimeters. 48 centimeters on top. And then I already know that height-wise, it is four centimeters. 
So now I know the bottom length, the top length, and the height of my bridge. So this is my side view, but I also want to do a top view and a front view. So this top view, that's if I were looking straight down at the bridge, so like a bird's eye view, straight down. So what I could really do, and it's very simple, I'm just gonna take the ruler, follow that line up here, let's just say I'll start it here, and my bridge, let's say my minimum width for my bridge is four centimeters as well. So my height and my width requirements are the same. So let's say four centimeters. So let's go ahead and do that. Four centimeters. And then I go on to the other side, over here. I go up. I suppose I should try and match the same line. So it's gonna be somewhere up here. Follow that line all the way up. Yep, so this is the one that matches up with the one over here. And then I go four centimeters, or I could just follow the line again, but let's measure just to be sure. Four centimeters. So this is the bottom of my bridge looking straight from the top. That is confusing, I agree. So looking down at my bridge, this is the bottom. So this is like the deck of my bridge. The part that the cars will actually be driving on. Or train, or whatever's going across my bridge. So I can draw those connected because they probably will be. I'll probably have a member or a toothpick going across there. Something like that. Now the rest of these connecting parts, they, those would be toothpicks going across. So this part up here, this is the top of my bridge looking at the side. So the, not the deck, but the top of the truss. I'm gonna have a toothpick going across there. So what I can do, let's just do a dotted line for the top ones. So I'll do another one on this side. And I would do that all the way across. I would have uh, several toothpicks going across. Now I wouldn't want it to be solid. Uh, that would be a little excessive and a huge waste of my budget uh, and toothpicks. So I don't want to do that. I just want to have enough to make sure that they stick together, the two panels on the side, uh, but I, I don't want to overload it with unnecessary toothpicks. So then I would go through and let's say I want to have another one. Well, let's work on this other part first. The last thing I want to do is a front view. So this is the top view. And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cheat a little bit. It's not really cheating. I'm just using my brain, I suppose. Uh, it needs to be four centimeters, right? Four centimeters wide, four centimeters tall. So. Let's go following the same line, four centimeters. Let's follow the same line down here. Four centimeters, and I just connect the dots. It's so simple, it's crazy. So, this is my front view. Now that seems pretty basic, but if I have a bridge that is instead five centimeters tall, this would be useful. Or if I have a cross member, if I have pieces going across up here to add structural support, I don't know. Uh, this could be beneficial for that reason, or if I have pieces going up over here, it is something that could be beneficial, uh, but for mine, it just happens to be a square. 
but it still tells me some information. So that this is four centimeters. Um, the whole length is already given on the bottom. So this is the basics and then you would fill it in. Now over here we have a lot of extra space so I could be um, adding more information over here. So designed by Mr. Will and I could list my criteria and constraints over here just so that I have them in mind. Uh, but all this information would be really great to have for your blueprint. Now the next step after filling in some of these things uh, is actually starting to glue the tooth fixed down. So in the next video we'll be doing just that. So tune in.